Hi everyone, welcome back to Know Your Cancer series about oral cancer. How do we investigate a patient who comes with a suspected oral cancer? The first important thing that is done is the oncologist examines the oral cavity and the neck. That is, the extent of the disease is examined and the involvement of the bone, if any, is identified. Also, whether the disease has spread to the nodes in the neck on whichever side it is present, that is examined. Followed by this, a biopsy is planned and taken from the ulcer or the swelling and sent for testing. This will confirm the diagnosis of cancer. Depending on the extent of the tumor, further investigations are advanced. Most commonly, today it is a standard to a contrast enhanced CT scan of the head and neck. This will cover the whole of the oral cavity and also the neck. This will show us the extent of the disease, whether there is involvement of the bone and any important vital structures if they are involved. Also, the extent of the nodal disease in the neck is very clearly delineated in a CT scan. Once we get this information, the stage of the disease is determined. There is also a role for PET CT in some situations where the disease is quite advanced. So what are the treatment options for oral cancer? Based on the stage of the disease, we decide the treatments for oral cancer. Surgery and radiotherapy are the two most important modalities of treatment for oral cancer. Surgery includes two parts. One is the resection of the tumor, two is the reconstruction. Primary surgery includes resection of the tumor along with resection of the lymph nodes. That is, the glands which are present in our neck. These are the primary sites where the cancer can spread from our oral cavity. All these have to be addressed when we do the primary resection. That is followed by reconstruction. Most advanced cancers have mutilating surgeries which will result in a huge defect in the face that requires a good reconstruction. For early stage cancers, be it on the tongue or in the buccal mucosa, usually a resection with a margin is sufficient and reconstruction, if required, is done or else they heal by themselves. For tumors which involve the bone, resection involves the mucosa and also the bone along with the lymph nodes and reconstruction usually is done in the form of a bone from your leg, what is known as a free blood mm -hmm. clamp. The bone and the soft tissue from the leg is removed and kept in the place of your previous jaw bone and they are attached accordingly. That is the latest cosmetic surgery and also gives the best functional outcome. There are other various forms of reconstruction and depending on the requirement they are applied. So, oral cancers if found at an early stage are very much curable especially with surgery Patients with advanced disease, even after they undergo surgery, will require what we call as adjuvant radiation. This will reduce the chance of recurrence. Radiotherapy is very rarely done in early stages, only in patients who cannot undergo surgery, it is applicable. For advanced cancers where surgery is not an option, radiotherapy remains the only option. Chemotherapy does not have a major curative role. It has a very important adjunctive role for all advanced head and neck cancers, and especially oral cancers where it is added to radiotherapy to increase its efficiency. In fourth stage, that is a late stage oral cancer where the disease has spread or in cancers which after surgery and radiation have recurred, in those patients, chemotherapy remains the only option. Sometimes targeted therapy is also given, but this is only for a palliative benefit and does not cure the patient. Next week, I'll be back with the follow -up rehabilitation and a few preventive measures for oral cancer. Take care. See you soon.